Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Once again, I'm back in New Braunfels, Texas, in the community of Veramindi, specifically the Vista Alta section of the community, cute little gated community with green space behind it. But the reason I'm out here is my client's Perry home that's being built is getting very close to being finished. So I wanted to do one more new construction follow up video to show what this house looks like as of kind of late September 2024. Let's head on out front, start the tour. All right, now the last time I did a video of this house, it wasn't white yet. It was actually kind of that little salmon color you can see right by the street number sign. But Perry went with that color brick because they knew they were going to be painting it. And wow, does it look so much better with a white and black combination. The Vista Alta section, that's what we're seeing here, is really starting to come along. Uh, Perry bought this section out from a, a custom home builder that was building some of the ho houses in here. They weren't selling quite fast enough, so they went and sold to Perry Homes. Matter of fact, the house next door was one of those custom home builders, but they were building beautiful homes in it. I really do like this section specifically because it's all green space lots behind it. I do, do love Perry's landscaping thing, but uh, yeah, we're gonna show you the backyard here uh, later on in this video. All right, let's get ready to head on inside. Now, before we head inside, make sure you hit that like button. It definitely helps out a lot. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. But they, if you can see it, they want like the rain uh, effect glass on here. So you get plenty of light in, but you really can't see inside. This house is almost finished. We do have uh, one of the electricians in here kind of finishing up some stuff, but that's quite all right. But we do have electricity, air conditioning in here. And one of the things Perry does is they do their best to protect the floor it's in but it's covered so it doesn't get damaged at all. All right, right up front, we got these two uh, bedrooms. We got carpet in here now. There's still definitely some touch up painting that needs to be done. I love the fact there's eight foot doors throughout. Good size closet space. There's one of the eight foot doors. And we got tall ceilings in this house. And if you've been watching my videos before, I always recommend eight foot doors if you got tall ceilings, because it definitely changes the whole feel of the house. A full bathroom, also kind of right up front. And this room's gonna be pretty much mirror of the last room. The closet's the exact same as it was over, over there. Pardon me, got the little hiccups going on. But that's all right, we're gonna keep pressing forward. All right, one of the things I really do like about this house, besides the main area, is the fact that it's got a three-car garage. Um, these, this is on, I believe, a 55 foot lot. So having a three car garage is very nice. Tankless water heater, lots of attic space, but we're not gonna go up into the attic. Uh, I really do like Perry Homes as a builder. Um, one thing I like about them is they do do a two year warranty on anything. And currently they are doing some modification, able to modify some of the plans. I'll go and show you what I'm talking about right here. This original plan, uh, the wall didn't come all the way out. There was just kind of be a pillar here, but they went ahead because my clients wanted this room extended a little bit because he can make this his music room. So he wanted a little bit larger space and carpeted to kind of help dampen the sound too, or else it would have had the same flooring as the rest of it. But yeah, plenty of light. So I'm looking forward to seeing my uh, client have his whole uh, music set up in here. So that's gonna be kind of cool. Nice wooden French doors, but we kind of skipped over a section here. Could we get the laundry room right here? Very easy accessible. Not the biggest, but very adequate for the size of this house. Just a little coat closet there. And we got another bedroom here. Yes, this is a four bedroom house. We do have some uh, broken windows during the construction process. And I got a running joke, I tell everybody. That means good luck for the house because it seems like you can't build a house without breaking a few windows. I don't, don't ask me how or why so many windows get broken, but they just do. All right, let's head on into the main portion of the house. All right, so we got plenty of light in the main living space. I really like this a lot. Good size island. And this will give you a hint what the flooring's looking like. Uh, they do got the power out in there. Very important if you're gonna have, uh, I've got those electric powered couches in my house 
and very nice to be able to just plug in straight to the floor. But one of the things I like a lot is being able to have these pass-throughs to where you can hang your TV up here, you got your coaxial box here, but any cables, they got a little slot that goes down behind the wall and pulls out. So you're not seeing the wires in between your like receiver and TV, but still tall ceilings in here, lots and lots of can lights. Uh, that it, there will eventually be a ceiling fan in there because yeah, this house isn't finished just yet. And they're gonna have two pendants hanging down over there as well. But uh, let's check out the pantry because they've done some modifications with this pantry with the uh, extended the wall a little bit. But a decent sized pantry. Definitely like that. Eventually there'll be a refrigerator here and they'll finish the tile work. And once this tile works get filled in, it's gonna be really nice. But they do have a five cooktop gas burner. And uh, I do really like their uh, sink they put in there. Beautiful single basin sink. But yeah, let's head on outside. This would be the uh, formal dining room space slash breakfast nook space. Tons of lighting in here. <coughs> Pardon me. But one of the big pluses is this backyard. Um, they've got the sod in now. Oh, let me show off the patio space. Nice patio space. Going to be a block for a ceiling fan right there. But this, it's not the biggest backyard, but the fact that they're keeping all of this stuff behind it natural, all these beautiful oak trees are staying there. So you're never going to have anybody looking behind you. Uh, they are going to be putting up something, kind of give some more privacy right there because right now, no privacy. But that's easy enough to fix if you put a little privacy barrier up there. But uh, eventually there will be a house uh, next door as well. So the houses are a little tight, but if you're not stressed about the house being tight on the side and more focus on privacy in the backyard, man, and with some beautiful oak trees, uh, the sun sets on the front of the house. So this could be a really cool place once they put up some like lattice or something to give a little privacy for these two peep folks. Um, this can be a really cool place to kind of just hang out and chill. All right, let's head on into the master bedroom and show what it looks like as of today. All right, Perry Homes does use Ecobee, which I have the same thing in my house. I really do like the Ecobee. I have the Ecobee 3, I believe, and it's a very handy thermostat. Bathtub still sitting in there because, like I said, they're still working on it. Lots of light coming through these windows, and yes, another broken window there that will get fixed. But coming into the through these little French doors into the bathroom, we got some nice tile work. Uh, his and her vanities, we got the lights in there now, and I do like this. Uh, you got your makeup space here. I'm sure they can be putting a mirror up there as well, but also some natural light coming in too. Uh, water closet, plenty of space. And here's what the shower is looking like now. Um, so my client specifically wanted a certain type of shower. And uh, that's a little bit of a skinny wallway, but I think this is what my client was wanting, a little bigger of a wall. But he requested a kind of a special custom type place, but lots of shower space in here. Really like that a lot. But yeah, that is an interesting skinny door there, but that my client, like I said, worked with Perry. They got what they wanted, I guess, I hope. <laughs> but all right, here's the master bedroom closet. <coughs> so not, not gonna be the biggest of closets, but this isn't the biggest of homes. <coughs> hmm, pardon me, I really need some water. I've been talking a lot today. Um, but nice size closet, good size bathroom, and I really do like <clears throat> how Perry has some of these smaller floor plans to kind of meet anybody's budget. Well, most everybody's budget, I'll say that. Okay, meet a lot of people's budget. I'll, how about that? Here you go. Because yeah, Perry's one of my favorite high-end production builders. But uh, yeah, you do. it does cost more than like say a D.R. Orton home. 
All right, I apologize for the coughing throughout the video. I don't have any extra water with me right now. I'm gonna be getting some of that real soon. But if you did like this video, hit that like button. Of course, on subscribe to my channel. And if you know somebody moving to the Texas Hill Country and they're interested in uh, New Braunfels and want to be in a community that really conveniently located to everything in New Braunfels, Check out Veramindi. I really do like what they got going on in this community. Some great builders in here. Uh, so if, yeah, if you know somebody moving to the area, please share this video with them. And <clears throat> FYI, my clients, it's cost them nothing, nothing to use me as a realtor because Perry Home, well, they pay my fee and they don't discount their prices if you don't use a realtor. So you've got nothing to lose by giving me a call. And if you want to do that, my contact information will be on the final slide and in the description box will be a whole bunch of information to include a link to my Calendly app if you want to schedule a Zoom meeting with me. All right, that's going to do it for today. Take care now. Bye.